Hi folks, today I've got for you an improvement on my previous hybrid spiral 3x3 door design. It's hybrid because it has a falling block in the center, and it's a spiral because, well, here's how it closes, and here's how it opens. It's also really hard to break this thing as well, which is pretty good. So let's get to building this thing. You'll need to clear out a 9x7 space, it's only 2 blocks thick, and your corridor is going to be offset 2 blocks from the top. Everything in my hotbar is what you need to build this door. The first two blocks are for the door itself, and this is for putting redstone on. Just make sure you have one falling block, such as sand or concrete powder. Now come around to the side here, place two blocks in a diagonal, followed by one note block and an observer coming down into the block below. Then come around the side, place one redstone dust, one lamp, one observer going into a solid block, and then two sticky pistons facing upwards. Now go ahead and place a lever on that note block, followed by one block and a falling block on top of that. That's your double piston extender, so make sure that that thing works by flicking that lever on and off. Now come around the side and place three sticky pistons on top of each other like so, and duplicate the same thing on the opposite side as well. Now come around to the top, place one sticky piston facing downwards, and now we're going to go around to the back here and build our powering circuit. You'll need an alternating stack of note blocks and observers. It'll be a note block, observer, note block, observer, and then a solid block. Then place one solid block diagonal to that, and then place an observer going into a note block. Place two solid blocks below that, and off that second block, place a note block on that sticky piston, followed by your last observer and your last solid block. Then run redstone all the way across the top, and that'll actually be all the redstone for this build. So now we can go ahead and fill in all the blocks for the frame, and then we'll give it a test. Just make sure not to click the note block directly, but if you do, you can just click the lever again to fix it. Here's what it looks like if you do that by accident. That's pretty much it for this video, but if you have any suggestions or ideas, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.